Nowadays you hear many people talking about the need to reconnect with nature or to go out and connect with nature. Um, but I don't really think we know exactly what that means. What do we actually understand by the term reconnecting with nature? What is connecting with nature? And I think the funny thing is, is that many people would argue that we are actually a part of nature. So the idea of reconnecting with it seems at first a little strange. But when we start to think that our disconnect from nature is one to do with perception, then we can get a better understanding of what reconnecting with nature might be about. And if you do actually look at you know, what scientists and psychologists tend to um, understand by uh, connectedness with nature, we see that it is very much this idea that we perceive ourselves to be a part of nature, to be interdependent and related with nature. And you know, research has found that just having that perception of being a part of nature is enough in itself to motivate us to act more responsible uh, towards the environment. But you know, is this just about perception in itself or is there actually something more to it? And if you start to look a little further and if you start to dig a little deeper and look at people who we might consider to be connected with nature, you see there's also an emotional element as well. And that connectedness with nature seems to involve a sort of emotional bonding with parts of nature or even with a certain place. And indigenous people for sure have had that attachment to place. So the attributes which we can start to understand from connectedness with nature is a mix of perceptual and emotional. And these, uh, these dimensions include uh, perceptions and feelings of, of sameness, of relatedness, of belonging, of interconnectedness, of understanding the human nature interaction as one of wholeness. And of course there are experiential dimensions as well. If we look at people who are connected with nature, they show an awareness of the of the sounds in their environment. They understand the bird calls, they're attentive to certain things of nature uh, or appearing in nature. And of course, connected people tend to spend more time in nature. They interact with nature in a very engaged kind of way. And these traits of connectedness are not just something that, that tend to appear over a short span of time on a holiday. They're traits which uh, tend to be quite enduring and that would be a part of someone's um, you know character over different temporal and spatial contexts. So we need to understand connections with nature as being more than just perception and in embodying emotional concepts, embodying these other aspects we can actually see it more as being a state of consciousness.